Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, August 30th, 2022. Well, yesterday was kind of a just back and forth seesaw day with the bulls really ultimately winning it, holding on to some support levels in the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, these charts and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, a couple things we need to notice in the chart. I'm going to pull this little line back right in here. One of the things I think we have to pay attention to now is that we have a lower high followed by a lower low. But one thing I will say is this... Um, this downtrend that we have begun in the chart is a little bit on the steep side. So we should be expecting some kind of a bounce back here at any time or at a bare minimum, some kind of a resting consolidation in here. So if we take a look at the price levels that you can see in the chart right here, obviously we broke this little level of price support here in the Dow and we have another price support right up in or a price resistance i should say right up in here so uh, trying to hold on to to a level right through here in the chart well let's look for that opportunity that we could maybe bounce back a little bit and um, relieve some of the selling pressure and we could certainly pop right up into here and um then pull back or we could push all the way back up into here. Now I kind of favor this side here that we push up just a little bit more or somewhere in between there. That better follows the trend. Not saying I'm gonna get what I want, but we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. And then um, be really careful as we approach some of those resistance levels in the charts. Um, anything that you're thinking about trading because that could be where the bears reemerge or reattack. Now there is one other scenario here that you could um, uh, justify and that would be more of a consolidating move where we just kind of bounce around in here over toward that trend before we start uh, moving on lower. And there are some things coming up in the near future that um, may be um, an issue or a worry for that. So let's watch those close. Then if we take a look, and oh, and by the way, we're also on the daily hanging onto that 50 day moving average. So that is an important hold there on the chart. SPY, very much the same thing where we pressed through a resistor, broke through this um, um, support in the chart, pushed on down. We came pretty close to testing this support. And then of course, resistance is now right in here and right in here in the chart. So let's watch that closely. If we can rally back up through some of these levels, that would be um, a good thing for the bulls. Um, and obviously not such a great thing for the bears, but we'll watch that carefully. Remembering that downtrend is pretty steep here. So a rally back into that area would make some pretty good sense before we really see those bears gain that aggression back. And once again, we came very, very close here to testing our 50 day on the SPY. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ, I, um, I see it exactly the same way where we continue to push that um, uh, that trend pretty steeply here or we did can continue to push that trend pretty steeply and we have some resistance levels in the chart right up in here where we may whoops that wasn't very straight or uh, we where we may rally back up or even back up into that uh, trend break right in here rally back up and then we find that downtrend and maybe con continue that move to the downside. So watch that close in the QQQ and here again, testing that 50 day moving average and holding, that's a pretty important thing um, uh, or a pretty normal hold in that area. So we'll wanna watch that carefully. And then our IWM also pushing back a little bit, but IWM has held up stronger than other indexes. If you take a look in here, we've come close to that 
200 day moving average. Um, it's been holding up pretty strongly and notice here, it's the only one that's holding above that downtrend break. So kind of an interesting situation here in IWM. Now we'll wanna watch this area right through here. As you can see, this is a pretty strong area of resistance in the chart. And if we can break back through that, well then I would say right up in there would be kind of um, a, a pretty tough level um, to, to challenge those bulls to push through. So watch that area in here, that downtrend and then we'll maybe look and see if there's gonna be some follow through selling once we move on up just a little bit. Now, if we take a look at our VIX, our VIX pushed up pretty solidly yesterday, but did back off on a lot of seesaw in that move this morning. And I suspect we're gonna see that VIX pull back a bit today. As I've said, no really harm in, in this chart unless we break through that level right here and then we happen to hold it as support that's where i'll be watching as we pull back if those bulls don't have that energy that they need to really break through those resistance areas um, up above then i'll be watching this area right in here to see if we get that next move to the upside and that's where some major selling could come into play if it does happen Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122 um, bounced around a little bit yesterday, but notice right in here, we just didn't have um, that little bit of selling into the close. We didn't really get a big move here at all. Um, in T2122, volumes remained extremely low yesterday. So I'm not sure we can gain a whole lot of information out of T2101, but T2122 is a fantastic, fantastic indicator for showing us those overbought or oversold conditions. And we're in that oversold condition here. So a bounce would make some sense here and a little bit of relief um, to the upside. So watch that closely. Now, it probably won't take a whole lot of bounce to bring us right back up into here. What I mean is, I think the bulls might be a little disappointed in that um, a bounce um, in the market may not be as productive as they would hope or would like to see it be. Um, so watch that closely. If we move back up here into this uh, mid area um, heading into next month and we can't get moving, that could be a little bit of a problem. So watch that close, but I do think we're gonna get some relief. And this morning we're seeing futures up just a little bit. If we take a look at our T2108, now T2108 has a little bit more bearishness in it than the T2107, because I'll show you here, we have broken back down below that downtrend. Remember I kept saying, uh, this was really overextended. And um, so we had a little bit more pressure here with stocks falling back below their 40 day moving averages. But as you can see, we've got a lot of resistance in the chart and a bounce back up could create some resistance in that. Um, but if we get back above that downtrend and can prove to hold it, then we might, we might see those bulls re-engage. Um, our T2107 is actually in pretty darn good shape if you take a look here um, breaking that uh, trend to the upside and notice right in here we're holding um, that downside break in those uh, more smaller cap stocks so um, uh, um, those above that 200 day moving average are holding just a little bit better so watch that closely if we can bounce off of this and head back up well hey got to give that up to the bulls. So let's take a look at our index charts here once again. And I just want to show you what I was talking about. Um, 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 sorry, there we go. In those charts, um, our volume here on the diamonds was, well, came up pretty good. But if you um, look at the SPY, look at the QQQ, our volumes were a little bit low yesterday. So we we'll wanna watch that carefully, even though there was this back and forth seesaw fight going on, a little bit on the low side. So be kind of careful here. Um, a rally back, remember, creates some danger spots in those resistance areas. So let's take a look at our um, uh, calendar for today. Our calendar today has got a little bit more on that calendar to move us around a little bit. We've got the Case Shiller number. 
we've got um, a consumer confidence number coming out and we've got that jobs opening number. Um, any three of these could, all three of these I should say, could be a market moving. Um, and just simply because of the sensitivity that the market is in right now, we also want to recognize that we've got a couple of Fed speakers here today. So watch that close um, as well. And then as you kind of prepare, okay, for um, Wednesday, you want to be thinking about that ADP. We've got Mester speaking, we've got ADP, we've got Chicago PMI petroleum status we've got bostic speaking oh i forgot there's the mortgage applications there in the early morning so watch that close it's going to be really starting to ramp up for that job situation here so you can see we get the job openings report then we're going to have adp come back in then we're going to see jobless claims and that's going to all culminate in the employment situation number here on Friday, which we'll want to be paying close attention to. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, um, we have several things on that calendar that could be market moving. Let's take a look at a few of these. And please keep in mind, guys, th this morning um, there is no blog. So I'm going to run through these really, really quickly. No blog. I'm having some technical problems here this morning. So uh, forgive me for that. But we'll run through these really, really quick. We got um, Best Buy reporting today. Looks like they're trying to pop up here just a little bit this morning on their earnings report. We've got HPQ this afternoon, and we've got um, HPE this afternoon. Hewlett Packard and then Hewlett Packard Enterprises will both be reporting this afternoon. Um, um, AMBA will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. Baidu um, will be reporting. Looks like they're looking for a little bit of a bullish move here this morning. Uh, BIG, Big Lots, will be reporting. We've got CHWY, Chewy, will be reporting here. Watch that one close. CONN, we've got Crowdsource, CRWD. We're going to have uh, Playtronics um, on that list for today. So we've got a few um, notables to be paying attention to, but not... Not what you would say would be major market movers um, reporting. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to go, grow. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, I also want to remind everyone that tonight I am doing a e-learning session, a free to the public e-learning session. Um, I was going to do a, a live YouTube and I thought, well, why don't we just invite everybody over to the public e-learning session tonight? So tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, if you guys can make it, love to see you there. There'll be a free e-learning session. And in that space below the title of the video where I normally have the blog link, there's going to be a link where you can click to come uh, to register for the class tonight. Really love to see you over there. What I'm going to be talking about um, is the lessons learned from 30 years of trading in the market and hopefully I can provide some information to you that would help you on your path your journey in trading let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security um, you um, well quite obviously the way the market's moving around, you've got to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to make sure you're protecting yourself and your capital in a market that's moving around so dramatically and um, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Make sure you understand the why of every trade and understand 
um, how you can make profits in um, these positions and the risk of these positions to get that done. First off, um, I wanna point out Apple here. Now, Apple's going to have um, one of their um, a big reveal events coming up here. So expect a little price volatility in Apple to occur. But I want to point out this right in here. As a matter of fact, um, myself and Rightway Options members took profits on a ratio spread trade um, in Apple yesterday for 70% profit. So we've been looking at these resistance levels in the chart, watching that closely as we approached up here. And now we have this potential lower high in this chart. So you'll want to keep an eye on this, just exactly the same way that I was talking about. If we, uh, in the index charts, if we were to rally back up into here, watch for that potential of that short that could be setting up in Apple. And I think we're going to see some of those tax run into problems. Now, it may not be Apple, but I think we'll want to watch those carefully as they approach those resistance areas. I would really caution everyone to be very, very careful buying long stock in in uh, positions that have this kind of pattern where we've made lower highs and lower lows. Um, assuming they're just going to zoom right back up to the top. So watch that carefully. Apple may set itself up for a short. And I think there's other techs that are in that same ugly situation here in the market. Notice Microsoft pulled all the way back into here in this price support. And that is good that we're bouncing off of that price support. But my goodness, this is a pretty steep and ugly selling. Um, here in that chart and a rally back into price resistance. And I want to point out here, there's a lot of these head and shoulders patterns showing up in uh, the market, a lot of them. So watch that carefully. If this rallies back into that resistance, we certainly could see those sellers come back on um, if, if that bearishness returns. Remember, we're going to have an aggressively hawkish Federal Reserve um, pressing um, um, on this market and creating some issues for us. So watch that close. If we take a look at um, some bullish stocks out there, you might want to be taking a look at oil. Um, energy has been incredibly strong. And I do expect, it looks like we're getting a little pullback here this morning, but it, I do expect a bit of a pullback because we have rallied so strong and so hard um, in the um, the um, energy sector. Now, one of the problems that we may potentially run into is if energy continues to rally in this market, well, then we're gonna see our inflation rate go right back up. And um, there are folks out there calling for new record highs in um, energy prices are on the way. So I don't know if they're right, but you'll wanna pay attention to that. And there are a lot of stocks out there that have done well um, in this rally. ConocoPhillips, how about some refining uh, Valero? I was looking at Valero, kind of toying with an idea of a trade, decided to wait on that on that position, but watch right in here, that nice little resting pattern in that chart setting up. And if this continues to hold, then look for that opportunity to the upside. Take a look at stocks like um, Snow. Now Snow had this big upside move on their earnings report. And the good news is they didn't get a major negative reaction in the selling here. So watch this right in here. If we find, a, find this um, support area in the chart, look for that next opportunity if I draw the trend up here, you can see that may take a little bit of time before we come out here to the trend. So watch that in there. Any point in time in there, snow could maybe take off. Um, I was really kind of surprised um, to see some of the moves that I saw yesterday trying to perk out and break um, some levels here. Take a look at pins. Pins was trying to get moving yesterday. Um, and we've got this nice higher low going on in that chart. And this happens to be in a pattern that we call a round of bottom breakout where we pop through that 50, we hold it, and then we move on up. So keep an eye on that chart. There may be some opportunities coming into there. Now, I can't go away without mentioning a CCJ and anything in uranium. Oh my goodness, did they take off yesterday? Just like a rocket uh, shot, they took off. Now I hold 
hold this position. It right now is over 45% profit um, in the trade. Watch this carefully. Any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity, but keep in mind when we stretch this far, sometimes it may have to rest a little bit longer. And because of that, I actually have sold the 31 strike on that uh, position. I'm long the 22, I'm short the 31 on that uh, position. So if it moves on up and I get called away at 31, I'm gonna be one happy camper. Um, if it rests or pulls back, I think I'm gonna be just as happy um, in that as long as it doesn't break back down. Now that we pop through that resistance, any rest that holds above there will be a pretty good uh, pattern to maybe potentially trade. Now you could look at U, 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 U. Um, there's a beautiful pattern. I mentioned this in the morning prep yesterday and that took off awesome yesterday. And also URA, another beautiful pattern showing lots of uh, potential to that upside um, in those charts. So keep a close eye on that. Um, other um, alternative energy um, stocks I think are worth watching. Take a look at uh, First Solar breaking through some resistance here in this chart, showing some bullishness up here. I think as long as we can hold above this area up here, watch for that next opportunity into First Solar. Um, Plug Power is also one of those that popped through some resistance. We've been struggling here a little bit, but we got right back up above that support area. We're getting this nice little rest back into that chart. Watch for that opportunity that that could pop or push on higher here. So some really good potential plays out there um, in alternative energies. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. And just another reminder, please, If you, and by the way, if you don't make it uh, through the registration um, link, just go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks page and make sure you go to the free room. There's no password. And I'll see you tonight, 8 p.m., and we'll talk about some of those things that I think were, were monumental in making my career in trading and getting me on the right track. If I can help you with that, I'd love to do it. Y'all take care. Maybe see you tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, and I want to wish you all a fantastic day.